So this is how we can find a downloaded PDF on your MacBook. So at first, if you are using Safari, right, to download your files, you can go directly to the downloads folder. So in the top of the screen, you can see a download button and there you can see like the recent download. So you can directly locate it in there. You can just click on it and it will show up right there. Also, you have the ability to check the downloads folder. So if you open up the finder, you can see that on the left panel, you have different favorites or shortcuts and you should find the desktop documents and different ones including downloads and by default your documents or whichever thing you're downloading from the internet should be saved into the downloads folder so make sure you find it in there and also make sure that the organizing or sorting is not by name or size or whatever but you want to ensure that it is by the date added so the latest one shows up at the top of the list so you can easily locate it if you don't seem to find the downloads folder, what you can do while you have the folder open is to click on the um, settings in the top left corner. And inside of the settings, you have the ability to edit the sidebar and ensure that the downloads are selected so they actually appear right there so you can easily just find them. But if you still cannot find your PDF file, I would recommend you to use the search function where you can either type in the name of that document if you know it, or if not, just type in the PDF and choose not that the name would contain PDF, but that the type of file, the format that, we're, that we are looking for is a PDF document. So this will only show PDFs stored on your computer. So again, you can organize them by the date that they have been last open or whatever, and this will allow you to see the latest one. So I honestly hope that I could help you with finding and locating your PDF files. Let me know below in the comments if you managed to do it. Hit the thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe so you never miss another tutorial like this one. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.